Welcome to my channel. I'm Liam Jones and I have been a fine artist painting in the wild world of modern art for 15 years. Comic books got me started loving art as a kid and here I am, a full grown man making my own. Join me as we have fun with art and comic books for people who love them. Thanks for watching. What's going on, people? My name's Liam Jones, and this is episode number 17 of the... Hello, the... I am Wendell. Meet Wendell. Wendell is an overpriced, articulated, poseable figurine bought from an Instagram ad that sent me to a super sketchy website that tried to steal my personal information. Wendell is a super helpful drawing aid, especially when it comes to drawing in perspective. His proportions are perfect, some would even say godlike. He's a shrewd businessman specializing in the sale and distribution of some kind of substance that gets factory-made figurines really high. He's also my best friend. It is my pleasure to make your acquaintance. And how fortunate are you that I will be the voice of reason today as we go over this artwork. This guy's gotta start the intro sometime. Maybe I should have brushed my teeth. They say the camera adds 10 pounds. There's my double chin. Let's get into it here. So this is just a sketchbook drawing uh, from the summer of 2020. Uh, I've been looking at some artists, comic artists that are just like knocking my socks off. Uh, Jason and Sean Alex Alexander being the main one here. So starting off by drawing some Conan figures from reference. The reference I'm using here is the great Noah Bradley, uh, who did a bunch of reference packs you can get on gum road and different places anyway he's uh he's pretty epic uh does does good uh warrior dudes sitting in chairs so that's what this is this model is good however he would be better as a plastic figurine so i heard uh many times through art school and high school and stuff that drawing from photographs is just awful and you should always draw from life um, if you draw from photographs, it robs you the drawing of, you know, energy and everything. And okay, there's, there is some truth to that, I suppose. I mean, drawing from life is obviously ideal, um, cause it's, it's a direct interaction. But when you draw from photographs, dealing with a static image has its own advantages as well. And I'm a big fan of drawing from photographs. I try to do it as quickly as possible. Like this page is a blitz, right? You got four different drawings and I'm trying to just motor through them as fast as possible and work on uh, various techniques. So what you can see here that I'm doing, and this was the point of it, was to try out a whole bunch of new uh, pens and, and uh, brush, it, brush pens and whatnot, uh, different techniques. So I'm doing a splatter technique eventually and I'm setting up for it now using one of these Molotov uh, nib pens. And the nib on it, I think the nib like you can get different kinds of, of tips for all, for all of these pens, right? They're all interchangeable, the Molotovs, um, as well as other ones. But the Molotovs are like really interesting. You can get you can get like a tech pen uh, tip that's really good. Uh, this one here is it's like a piece of plastic that just kind of almost works like a ballpoint pen. Uh, nothing moves on it. It's just that it just kind of spreads the paint out a little bit. So what I'm using here is acrylic paint uh, with it, and um, Anyway, it, it had a nice line. I'm not too big a fan. I'm not going to be using the Molotovs much at all. But this, however, is one of these uh, feud, feud brush pens. They come in a pack of 12, and I'm a huge fan. I love these brushes. These are so, so good. Like you can, um, you can be really sensitive and fine, or you can cover a lot of ground and shade with them as well. Uh, I saw them on a Kim Jong Gi video, of course. I'm a Kim Jong Gi addict. He's great. Um, and a lot of other artists use them as well. The, the fact that they come in a pack of 12 is wonderful. I'm a big fan of the line. Uh, so the next one here, I mean, this Noah Bradley is probably my favorite pose where he's just kind of, you know, getting up out of the chair. He's got one leg straddled over it. And I'm just gonna stick with the feud brush pen because it's awesome. The drawback to those ones is that they're water soluble. So if you get the page wet, if any water drips on it, um, it's just going to bleed everywhere. 
And uh, that can work in your favor if you want to do watercolor techniques. Uh, Karl Kapinski does that a lot. If you watch any of his uh, time-lapse videos of him doing work or just working with uh, these brush pens, he has a water brush pen in one hand and an ink brush pen in the other. All right, so the splattering technique is why I did this thing initially. And so I used a toothbrush to splatter the paint, and then I'll go in with a little bit of technical pen and just all kinds of refinement, basically painting my drawing. That's the idea. So instead of doing a whole bunch of cross hatching and really fine techniques uh, with, uh, with a tech pen or with a brush pen, the idea here is to treat it more like a painting and use the splatter, all the different splatter for gradation instead of cross hatching. And it's a really beautiful painterly look. The way to kind of mitigate that is to use some whiteout. What I'm doing here is I'm, I'm trying like several different things. That's just, I think that's something like pro white. One of those uh, white inks uh, with a brush. I found that I, I was, it, it's okay. It works well. And then I try a different kind of pen. I have like four or five different kinds of whiteouts and stuff that I've purchased recently that I try here. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary. For me, I'm sort of finding that I just, I love brush pens. They're so great. They work really well with the splatter technique. And uh, for my personal preference for putting on the white, I kind of like this thing right here. This this is like a ballpoint pen uh, with some white. I think it's like just a big pen or something. Um, but it uses really nice opaque uh, white. And I enjoyed that. And going with the Copic pen and the brush pen. And it's just like so much fun here. This is a whiteout that I got from watching Jim Lee work. Jim Lee, Jim Lee really likes that particular kind of blue container with the whiteout. I find that the line isn't thin enough. I like a really fine tip. But that's still pretty good. And you can also manipulate it with your finger. Uh, it still gives a relatively fine point, just not quite as detailed as I'd like, personally. But you can see here, it goes on nice and thick and you can manipulate it with your finger really well. It's just like this one page, there's so much uh, like work going into it, right? And that's, that's the way drawing is. Like the time just bleeds away. You can spend three, four hours on a drawing and it's, it's like, you know, fart in the wind. It's not appropriate for my website. Fart in the wind, fart in the wind. It's like, let's draw the crotch. Let's draw the crotch. Just being gross all the time. I don't want to be gross. Derpy derpy der, der, ba der, ba der. I mean, if you're going to experiment and, and practice drawing, it might as well be Conan, and it might as well be a page where you you're just you're not trying to be perfect. Uh, that, I mean, that's what a sketchbook is. There's different kinds of sketchbooks, right? There's different degrees of sketchbookness. Uh, this, my sketchbooks, they are not for show, really. They're, you just, I just work and I make mistakes and there's some really, truly awful drawings. And then there's some really good drawings too. Uh, like, the, and those are the ones that I post on Instagram, of course. You know, you don't want to post your crap online. This page here was pretty good. There's lots of room for error in this type of drawing. Because any kind of mistake you, you do, you, I mean, you're already using whiteout just as much as you are using ink and cross hatching and splatters and whatnot and that's that's a really appealing look it's very the word painterly has come comes to mind i i don't like art speak but painterly is a pretty appropriate word uh for this it, you you draw like you paint it's kind of nice you know the messiness has a real uh real nice look very appealing kind of like sean gordon murphy or Jason Sean Alexander, Simon Bisley. Who's the other guy? Um, Bill Sienkiewicz. Uh, he's, he's another one who does that as well. Really cool artists. Anyway, so this video here took me so long because I'm learning new software and I'm upgrading my light and my studio and what have you and just a whole bunch of things have been going on. So 
Uh, I was supposed to be at like video 100 by now, but I'm still stuck on video 17. That's all right. I hope you guys are, are enjoying the show. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun doing it. This has been a real learning curve, and I'm sure that from now on, you know, there's going to be a slightly higher increase in the quality of my videos. Let me know in the comment section. Uh, click subscribe, all that kind of stuff. Let me know if you like like the whole Wendell thing, because I have other characters that I can try, uh, or if there's anything you'd like to see. Um, I had a request for drawing people's faces to show how to draw people's faces as a cartoon. Yeah, that can be kind of fun. Um, yeah, I'm just trying this out to see what you guys like uh, to hang out online with y'all. All right. Anyway, great seeing you. Have a good one. Bye now.